let's try and visualize a liquid in a completely different manner right let's take a liquid instead of imagining it as we usually do let's imagine it as a large number of little balls right some of them it's it's not so calm you know it's like people are running around and little dolphins you know what we need to understand is that overall the temperature of this liquid could be less than its boiling point but one of these dolphins might just end up getting enough energy right because there are so many collisions happening inside right one hitting the other one hitting some of them suddenly end up getting a kinetic energy enough to be able to break away and if this continues to happen for quite some time what you would notice that the one that broke away has broken away right it's not part of the water in other words water is drying right it's becoming gaseous water vapor with this picture in mind what all could aid this right i could have electromagnetic radiation whoa in other words light right from the sun usually and that's one of the reasons why sun dries clothes faster now how could sun help drying clothes faster sun's going to hit light rays right and one of those light rays is going to bounce onto this or going to hit onto one of these water molecules thereby giving it enough kinetic energy which is called a photon right so a photon comes across hits one of these molecules gives it enough energy escapes right helps evaporation obviously the larger i make the surface the more of them can escape right because it's clearly a surface phenomenon nobody from down there no matter how much kinetic energy they have can escape the only thing they can do is transfer it to somebody above and hope that some it reaches somebody on the surface and then they escape right now let's also ask how could wind affect this on a windy day clothes dry faster if you haven't observed it already how could that be watch what happens as a molecule of wind comes across and a dolphin's jumping right and the dolphin here is the water molecule hits it gives it enough kinetic energy for it to escape away again great so what we observe here is the surface area matters temperature right yeah matters because the larger if you have some kind of radiation the sun it's going to start giving kinetic energy how could the temperature matter the larger the temperature of the air more molecules of the air are very very energetic which means one of those collisions with water is going to help it give enough kinetic energy for it to escape great now what about this thing called humidity right because the third last thing or the last thing we saw that helps it right we saw the radiation helps it the temperature helps it the surface area helps it wind helps it right wind is in other words also kinetic energy of the air molecules great so what does humidity do and what is humidity in the first place the amount of water molecules already present in the air now why is that important why is that even part of our equation it is part of our equation or is part of our system here because just like some dolphins can leave some of those dolphins that already escaped which are in the air called humidity might end up forming their finding their way back into the water just randomly right some people are leaving some people are entering so the larger this humidity what what does that mean more of them can come back which means effectively the evaporation is going to reduce right so in one sense what does humidity do it reduces the effective evaporation because just like some of these guys can escape with larger kinetic energy some of them can start losing some land back where where they started from or even if they came from somewhere else they could just land back over here thereby the gas becomes or the vapor becomes water so humidity negatively affects it interesting right if you like this video and if you want to watch more videos like these hit like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy learning this way download byju's the all new and personalized learning app